How's it going? I'm Will with Escape Climbing. Today we're going to talk through tape. How to tape your hands for climbing, um, and then how to tape your hands for crack climbing too. So let's get into it. Um, we have two different kinds of tapes. We have a thin one and a thicker one. I'm just going to start with the thin one, how to tape your fingers. There's a couple different ways I'm going to go through. Um, I usually do the thin one when I'm out bouldering or sport climbing. It's going to be a bit better if you're like losing fingertips or anything. I try not to use tape when I can um, because you get less grip with tape. So I'm just going to show you here. Um, there's a couple different ways. You know, you could obviously just tape your finger, tape a tendon down or something. You could tape a tip um, just like this. So it's kind of perfect length, um, taping it down. I don't really recommend doing this. There's a lot of better ways to tape a tendon, um, but this is, this is something to do. And then this is great for like taping a tip up if you're starting to lose it, starting to go raw when you're climbing. So um, that is that. The other way, so a little bit better way with this um, thin tape is to do the figure eight uh, on your tendons. So, if you're climbing, you're starting to feel your tendons getting a little weaker if you're starting to recover. Um, first, I'd always take a break. Don't recommend climbing on hurt tendons. Um, but if you're going to, the good thing is I like to do um, the figure eight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the back of my finger here and I'm gonna do a full wrap. So I'm doing a full wrap below my knuckle here. Then, as you can see on the inside, I'm gonna start and I'm gonna bend it a little bit here. Um, to come around. Then I'm gonna go, so it's coming under my knuckle. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna go above my knuckle on this side. Do a full wrap on there. Keeping it bent like this, so you don't want it super straight or else you won't be able to crimp on anything. And then I'm gonna come back, figure eight underneath my knuckle here. And then come back and do a loop. So this, this works pretty well. Um, it still holds a lot of pressure and it's gonna support in there. Um, there's been some research done that this is not the best way, um, but if you prefer it, it's just kind of up to your preference. So, still pretty good. You can still crimp pretty well on that. So, that is the number eight. Then, the last one I wanna show you, uh, the finger taping method is H-tape. So, with that, I'm gonna use the bigger tape and I'm gonna create an H. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna peel it. I'm gonna get about four inches or something and rip it here. Then I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it from both sides and I'm gonna rip it long way. So you can see here, I'm gonna just gonna peel right from the center and I'm gonna go almost to halfway. So there you go, looks like legs or something. I'm gonna switch it around and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm not gonna go full the way through. I'm gonna leave about a half inch in the middle. Maybe it was a little less than half inch. Um, but then you're creating your H. So there's that. Then um, let's say you wanna protect this tendon right here, this pulley. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna lay the H right where I wanna protect, sticky side down, and really make sure that's stuck to my finger. Then I'm gonna bend it. Um, at like a, a 30 degree angle here, 45 degree angle, and then I'm gonna start taping this. So I like to tape from the, the top first. Um, tape it in, make sure it's nice and tight, make sure it's gonna protect it. And then get the other side so that's nice and tight. I'm gonna keep it bent because you wanna kinda have this where you want your finger to be in crimping position. So then I'm gonna do the other side. So I'm gonna do the bottom here splitting the knuckle, so you can see my knuckle still in the middle. Um, I'm gonna tape that. Uh, so that feels pretty good. Feels pretty nice in my fingers, protected. And then it's just one continuous piece of tape here. So it actually helps protect the tendon a little bit better from, from pulley damage or anything. So that is really how you tape your fingers for like sport climbing, for bouldering. That's kind of what I'm gonna do um, to make sure I'm not getting any injuries. The next thing I want to go through is how to tape it for crack climbing. So for all the people 
into crack. There's a couple different ways. You can see a lot of different things online about how to tape your hands for crack climbing. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through my favorite. Um, really, I use this a lot when I'm like in Indian Creek or even in Beta Boo where it's a little bit, the rock's a little bit tougher. Um, I love, tape is still my favorite um, thing to do. So, I'm gonna walk you through that. What I'm gonna start out with is I'm gonna take three, ta three little pieces of tape, maybe like three, four inches. And this is really my base. So, I'm gonna start right up at the knuckles there and really make sure that's stuck to my skin. So, I like the escape tape, it's pretty sticky. Doesn't leave a residue, but it's nice and sticky and especially sticks to itself. Um, so that's kind of what we're starting here first. So I'm gonna do three of these. They can get a little bit longer as it goes through. Um, I'm gonna keep taping the back of my hand. I'm gonna overlay it by about half an inch. Um, and that'll help make sure nothing comes up so it sticks to itself. So this is gonna be my Last one, you can see it's a little bit longer, maybe a little too long, um, but that's okay. So I have my three strips of tape here, and I'm gonna make sure that's nice and down on my hands. So I'm just squeezing it down. Next thing I'm gonna do is you can either use the big tape or you can use the skinny tape here. I'm gonna use the big tape because usually that's all you've got out there. So I'm gonna grab a strip of tape about six, seven inches long and I'm gonna rip it right down the middle. So now I've got two skinny, skinny pieces of tape here. How I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna do the fingers next. So I'm gonna put it down halfway, about halfway through and I'm gonna tape this up around my finger and back over. Um, don't worry if it bunches up around your finger, that's gonna happen when you're climbing. Uh, what I really want is to make sure this is nice and flat so it sticks to this tape. So there's one, I'm gonna make sure I can get this nice and flat to stick. And then I'm gonna start, same thing, coming over, do my ring finger here, making sure it's coming in nice and flat, um, no sticking there. You do wanna be able, you don't wanna do it too tight so you can't move your fingers all the way down, um, but you want it tight enough where it feels good and it's gonna stay on your hand. So I'm gonna do one more piece of tape here and then split it in half. So I'm gonna run in, run up, halfway down my finger, come in the groove, and then come all the way down. I do wanna make sure that there's no like edges kind of sticking up here, um, nothing rolling up, so. Is that, and then my last one here. I'm gonna come in. And I was a little too high on that one. In, down, and over. So, um, there's that. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape up my thumb here. You can do this as one continuous one. I'm just gonna tape up the thumb. Um, the big one, so I'm gonna kinda start here protect a little bit of the back of the hand, um, and then come all the way down. I want this to be pretty loose um, because I want to be able to move my thumb like this, like all the way uh, to a hand jam, so then I kind of come in and then bring it up a bit higher. So, that's how I like to do it. Um, some people will tape their thumb up as well, so do an extra piece of tape. That's really nice if you're gonna do a lot of fist jams or teacup jams where you're really on that thumb. Um, most of the time, I'm not gonna do that because I like to kind of have that dexterity. So, there's that. The last thing I'm gonna do on here before I finish up is I'm gonna do one more piece of tape on the side here. I like to do that because, because fist jams tend to hurt, um, and this protects it a little bit from that, so I'm gonna tape up the side. You see I haven't taped anything yet um, across the hand. Some people like to do that to keep it in um, and to keep this tape from peeling up. I prefer not to because I like to have that space on my hand. I like to be able to use that for slopers or holding onto things. Um, it just gets it a little bit more slippery the more tape you put on there. So that's that. The last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna put three more strips of tape on top. Why I'm doing this is because there's so much tape and there's so much edges on there right now that 
I don't want anything to be able to peel up. So that's when your crack club is going to start falling apart, is when your tape starts to peel like this. So I'm going to start right at the top, and I'm going to do one strip, and then I'm going to do the next one right here, right underneath it. Again, overlaying by like half an inch, just like I started, um, and then do the last one. Right at the bottom. So because I did that and I started the top and went this way, then it's not going to be able to really peel up when I'm climbing like that. So you can see this is all nice and slippery. You're not peeling up on anything. So the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to tape the wrist up. Now I want a nice long strip of tape here, but it's super important that it's really loose. So what I like to do, I like to start at the back here. Again, overlay by about that half an inch, but I want to keep it super loose. So I'm gonna come in, I'm coming in the bottom, and I'm just laying it on there. So I'm not even, like, not taping it down, just laying it on there. And then coming in, I can do it a little bit more all the way around. And then I'm just gonna kind of press it down. So it'll bunch up a little bit, that's okay. It'll kind of be able to let your wrist and your arm kind of swell up. You know, if you get pumped, your forearm starts to swell. And if this is too tight, it'll actually pump you out way faster. You can't get any blood into your hand. Um, it really sucks. So this is my crack glove. Um, that's how I like to do it. And yeah, so we have tape, both different sizes, and you can find it at escapeclimbing.com. Thanks.